one of Canada, and one of the rock stars was Mr. Gregor Lush. I think it was probably his last face-to-face. -face Gregor. So the last, he, I was probably at his last face-to-face -face demonstration that he did in 2020. Um, the poor chap didn't think he was going to go home. He thought he was going to have to become a Canadian citizen. I think he, I think because he had to obviously hop, skip, and a jump through yes. through through Europe to actually get home. And everywhere was just like, oh, and this is closed. And this is, I was literally on the last plane going to Vancouver. We had so many young people that had just done the ski season, and there was the, the hole was full of skis and snowboards. Surprisingly, we took off. We were on the lot run, runway for a long time, sort of going. It's like, can everyone just breathe in, and then we can take off? Because everything was so heavy with everybody coming back home and being hauled home by mum and dad. It's going to close. You haven't got enough money to stay in Canada to get home, and so planes actually packed. Backtrack. Day one of the seminar. Um, Gregor has obviously moved with the time so far ahead of everybody else, but he did a design very similar to this one, which I've taken inspiration from, but it was so full of flowers and plant material. We're used to Gregor having one stem here and then one stem here and a little bit of artistic um, movement through. <coughs> His design was incredibly full of flower material and this um, artificial and preserved material. He was moving with the times. He was being contemporary. He was actually talking to the other American designers around him, which are using the flowers and, and being quite voluptuous. So his designs were creating that. But again, he was doing it in a contemporary way. So I took those and I learned from that. This container is a container that you can buy in Kosh tomorrow. So it's a contemporary container that the local sundry market has said, this is all in fashion, this is what your customer wants. But then taking that urn and turning it into a design, which then transforms it into a, a design that is way ahead of the fluffy, filled urn that we've seen before. So how I've then done that, I've done the spider webbing, so I've taken the wires just like we did in the hand tie, I've splayed them out, I've then taken my paper covered wire and I've woven it around. I've then folded it over the side of the container. I've then, oh, I have got it. Um, no, I haven't. I've got I was going to show you this, the, the little cork mat. So it's just a little cork mat that you would find in a $2 shop to stick your um, saucepan on. So, and I cut it up into squares. So again, it's seeing a color, it's seeing a technique, and then manipulating it to create a more modern look, a more contemporary look. Um, the shape that I've made at the top is a fan. We know fans. Fans have been around for centuries centuries and centuries. So in order to create a fan that was on a more um, today and current with the trends, um, I've given it more height. I've extended the proportion. Um, anybody that, this one's going home with somebody. Um, and 90% of you are wearing stage goggles. <laughs> These little things, <laughs> I'll tell you what. It's like, oh, it's a spider. No, no. <laughs> Um, I think this is sorghum, um, I, I, I will stand corrected if somebody else thinks it's something else. It's sorghum that's gone to seed, but the grasses haven't been removed, so this is, this is cattle food. Um, but it's got this beautiful arching movement, and again, through the designs that you've been talking to over, about, over the seminar, it's talked about movement, it's talking about rhythm and how to get your materials to really move and create your eye to travel through the design. So the aim is you start at the base, or if you don't, you don't even notice, it's quite innocuous, the base. Um, you, you notice that there's a little bit of a gap between um, the top of the base and the actual design. And then it's the flare, it's the, the flare out. But then within the flare, you can see that there's texture, there's 
contrast because on one and grouping on one side I've used the um, inflorescence of the palm, but then on the other side, geez, no, it's no, it's no karma on this side. It's a bit woolly on this side too. Um, on this side I've used um, the cork twig, so the cork twig here creates that line coming down. Um, it was mentioned before that we need a cross, we need something that's quite dynamic with the line. So I've got the cork crossing the area just off to uh, your right hand side to create sort of another dynamic line. So there's all sorts of movement and twists. Again, thinking about depth, when you're looking at fans, sometimes it's quite easy to make them quite shallow and not have that depth. So what I wanted to do with this is create a little bit of a space between the, the back and the front. And then it made it an enormous arrangement. And it was just like, oh, this, this is getting quite large. And it's been down. I made this just before, just after the Easter show. Um, I think it was I still in the, the buzz from creating and creating. So I made this. And then my husband said, um, how long is that going to be there? <laughs> Every time you go down, this would actually tickle you, and there's the spiders galore, and you know, the spiders are coming in, and he goes, It's right by my toolbox. <laughs> it's just like, That's all right, it will go eventually. Um, but yes, that's been sitting there for, but that's the beauty of it. This is what, again, the, the, the new purchaser wants. They want something that's going to last, they want something that's going to not be finished in a couple of weeks' time. Um, they want the current colours, so the current colours again are these creams, caramels, lattes, cappuccinos, I mean you name it, it's got a, it's got a, a, a coffee related <laughs> connotation. Um, but it's what's, what people are buying in clothes, people are buying all these muted brown clothes because it suits a lot of Australian um, colouring and, and they love that chic finished, but it's not black and it's not white, um, and it has a chicness, it has a, a uniqueness about it. So people are drawn to these colours. So making something with these colours um, is just an, an easy given that the audience, who's now gone, um, will love it. <laughs> Never, I did say that they were missing out, I did try, I did the hard sell. <laughs> You're missing out, you've got to stay for the next one, it just finishes off the story. Um, I'll get them later. Uh, again, uh, looking at materials that have a that dry naturally. So the banks use. This is a design that I want you to look at and then look at again and then really look at because there's lots of interesting materials. Um, bunny in is uh, Mary Cecily. You've seen these like a thousand years and then a thousand years after that and then. It's, it's, a, it's a, a little flower material that just keeps coming back, doesn't it? It just is rather gorgeous. Because, and when I was in New Zealand, they grow wild. Mm. And it's just like, they're everywhere. <laughs> and along the coast, they were everywhere. We stopped at a campsite and I went, oh, this is really exciting, could we take them? It's like, no, no, you can't. You can leave them there because we're in a motor caravan and there's not enough room <laughs> for anybody, let alone bunny ears. Um, we've got dry Phalaris. Um, sort of the uh, uh, South African grape. I think you can eat the insides of this little flower here. Um, it's got a seed head inside. Um, it's used in gourmet cooking, but now this is preserved and bleached. I've got um, Honesty, which you know, grew everywhere. We all know it from being in the garden because you then peel it back and then have the little mother of pearl inside. Again, everything's come back. Um, the bleached, um, I'm going to say Gorilla, um, but that sort of adds another colour to it. Okay, has anyone got any questions before I start adding flowers? This is the hydrangea that I dried as well. So that's coming up, that's like the popcorn hydrangea, and that dries really nicely. Um, it, it's got this beautiful little character to it. You can take it off, you can use it in hair circlets and um, wrist corsages or, or any kind of body work, and that's quite Paint. Paint. Uh, no, I didn't paint. That's natural. And that's just <laughs> perfectly naturally dried um, popcorn hydrangea. And I put some at the base so that you can't see the mechanics of that. 
And did you, is there dry sack in there? Nothing. Nothing. It's Nothing. Just, it's just, not it's... Not tied in? No. Well, there's a lot of things that are actually tri t um, tied to the, the... Because if you look closely, you can actually see the metal spikes right. coming up. And I've actually got um, water vials strategically placed right. in amongst the design as well. Hopefully I can find more because I did actually, and I'm talking to very strategically placed. Where is that one? I've got a hand, I've got a bigger one in there somewhere. It did fall over. Or maybe it won't move around from there. This, yes, there's lots, I just, I did have a bigger square one which I could then put more flowers in, but it's probably in there. because we've got, it's brown, so it, it could be the, the tints, tones and shades of um, sort of ye yellow-orange because that's sort of more of a brown tone. Just purely because I use quite a lot of bleach in my everyday yes. work, um, I don't really need to mess around with, with bleach. Um, to be honest, um, I, I probably that's probably on the next step of things that I can do. What? How would you bleach uh, a leaf? Um, I would just leave it. Just, yeah, I would just in it. bleach. Yeah, in bleach and just go away and have a holiday, bleach and then come back. And, um, there's a there's a wonderful designer. <laughs> Somebody else can help me out with her name uh, from Western Australia who bleaches seaweed. Yes, I've done it. It's fantastic. Jean Shine. Jean Shine. Yes, Jean Shine. Yes. 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 I think her commitment to bleaching is commendable. Um, I'm not. I'm. I'm not there yet. Um, you. You might know um, that I'm a teacher. That I work in. I don't actually have a lot of time. <laughs> and, <laughs> and a mother. Said, and a mother. Yes. So, um, yeah, there's, there's, I don't actually have enough time to, to do all that. It takes a bit of time. I, try, I saw gum nuts and I had plenty of them. I thought oh, bleaching would yes. it takes a long while. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, weeks and weeks. weeks. And you need to get yeah. some sort of commercial bleach. Just your ordinary household yeah. bleach is only yeah. 2 or 3%. Yeah. So you need to get something with a higher concentration of chlorine. Yeah. 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 And then you've got to be careful because it's not very uh, you know, sensitive. No, and so the tops. You, you've got a question. Oh, All the environment. Um, obviously, um, you put a lot of effort trying to do, trying to get them, um, you know, bleaching the flowers and drying it yourself and all that. Um, what if you can't do that and you happen to find commercial ready, yeah. ready available? Would that give the same effect? Well, um, so walking through this design, um, the the bunny ears, they're actually natural, so they, they're they just, um, they're just um, ordinary dried. I did buy the Honesty from the, the flower markets, mm -hmm. um, and they were, they were just um, already like that. I think in some parts of New South Wales, the classes are noxious weed, so they're not mm -hmm. grown, because I've tried to find them a couple of years ago, and they really weren't, um, nobody was actually selling them, um, and the, the now, after everybody wants them because it's all on social media, then um, then they're available at the flower markets. But a lot of a lot of Australiana will actually dry out quite naturally. Mm -hmm. um, I actually used this silver leaf in the, the my last demonstration for New South Wales floral art. That was. <laughs> That was a little reminiscent from, from the, the demonstration before. Um, so you can, there's lots of, lots of things available to you at the flower markets that um, you can buy already made, already preserved. Anything else? Do you have an answer? Oh, a wide one. 
this one, um, no, I actually bought it for speed, so I didn't talk to Tony about it. Tony. Tony, yeah. Okay, and really. By that stage, I was running out of um, time. I was like, and, and I, I just literally bought it on a whim, and I thought he'd give me a good price. Uh, and he did. <laughs> okay, here's my money. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. So what I will do with this one is I will probably try and try this one out too, because... Um, oh yeah, I'm not very good at throwing. I'm not a horticulturalist. My branches are easy, Mary. Oh, are they? <laughs> Worth a try. Very easy. Again, again, if you if you want me to do more demonstrations, you've got to stop giving me jobs. <laughs> so just like... Okay. Bit of drama. Bit of drama in there. Now, um, I do love Hermania. I haven't conditioned this. I don't know why I haven't conditioned this. It is, yes, yeah. I mean, this is this is a staple in the flower shop I work at. We will put half a bunch of brevardia with um, some tulips, and it's a beautiful little gift. It really is. Oh, and I've got the first of the paper whites as well, so um, bear that in mind if you're allergic or anything like that. How much did you charge for a bunch of brevardia? Oh, they were... Ah, see, they were the last in the bunch, and I tried to negotiate with, with Rick Moletto, and I was saying it was six, and he said eight, and I said six, and he said eight. Then, all right, I'll pay eight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I said, oh, come on. <laughs> so I paid eight, because <laughs> they were the last bunch. And he said, oh, it should be 200 if they're the last in the, bu in the bucket. And I went, no, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Maybe I did get to bargain because I was cheeky. But, um, now, oh. so in all my designs, because you are seasoned spectators of my designs, I always put paper daisies. <laughs> As we sit the old we for teaching, I was like, oh, I do love paper daisy. Um, and there's a Billy Button, and the Billy Button is is here as well. So I think that's my, my signature dish, is a little bit of Billy Button and um, paper daisies. So, not that the judges need to remember that. <laughs> here you'll see that it's got two time points um, okay. yeah. on a wire 
with a little bit of paper covered, or a paper covered wire attaching that. So, so where I, I started from the base, I then worked up, I then started, I didn't put these crazy things in until, and then I put them in and I went, oh, could have put you in later, because <laughs> they kept tickling me. Um, I then went back and then thought of, I, I drew it out. I'm a, I'm a big believer in drawing your design out before you start. I'm always getting my students to draw their designs out before they start. Plan, plan at your designs. If any of my students work here, they'd, they'd be very dull because it's like, oh, he's just, just giving us another talk. Um, <laughs> but I think drawing out your designs, planning your design is, is something that's really imperative and you just need to do it. So you don't overwire, you don't overbuy, you don't, there's a lot of don'ts. There's a, there's, there's, a, there's a time efficiency. Everyone needs to be time efficient. And I think in order to do that, you need to write your shopping lists. You need to, um, you need to get yourself a little bit more organized. But some of the things are secured and then the rest of the things blend in. Blend in yeah. and, uh, There's not blend actually in. a lot that's actually squished in. Yes. A lot of it is tied. Right. So the lucky person that wins this and tries to take it apart, <laughs> Book out at half a day because there's a lot to take apart here and get some sharp scissors. Um, not taking it apart. The clock is just Okay. How are we doing? Am I am I completely like everyone's, everyone's been tired today and you just got to, you haven't sort of done the nod to me at all. Yeah. The phase waiting inside. Okay. Oh, so how many? Okay, we'll do the back. Does anybody want to buy more? Yes, actually, the application is there for you, so let's finish that. Oh, okay. Okay, help. So, do I need that there? Or do I need that over there? Oh, it is. Okay. Yes, that's what I need. Mean. And the reason behind that? Because otherwise, it's too dominant in the centre. Draw everything in, because that, I'd quite like to change the positions of that. So if you can bear with me one moment before you take your beautiful photographs, because that is actually changing it up a lot. So I'm kind of like, maybe this is too shy. So you just see its profile of the beautiful yellow and that will catch you as you look through the design and then it will catch you again on the flip side. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your attention.